Hi, welcome. This is where we left in the tutorial one, the basics. In this tutorial, what we are going to achieve? That's first I'll show you the result, then we'll start with the code. I want to create a basic block like this, and then is should extra like this. This is the famous building symbol. Okay. I call this as HSPC building. Okay. It's just a block, but I call this as HSPC building block. Because as I'm, we are working on like a city generator plugin, how to write a city generator plugin on Insta, we'll learn all the basics gradually. Right? Okay. Finally, at the end of the series, we'll create some good, decent. Uh, scripts and plugins and all that stuff. Okay. Now, you know what we did? We just created a box with a hide something and then extrude. It's very simple. I'll create a right click, new tab, one more Python. How to start with it? It's always with import. Thing we need to put is a polycube MC polycube. I'll, I'll leave the default values for width. You don't need to type if your default values are same, you, can't, you don't need to type width equal to one and so I'll just type height. My height equals 11. Name I'll keep as. Just basic. Okay. If I run this code, but it should be placed exactly on top of the ground. We did this issue also. We did so far. Okay. Before giving, we'll put this in a variable. We'll put as hs basic value. I always work on like camel case. Start with small letter, the first word, second word with mc dot move zero and eleven divided by two point out. You know it because we'll get five point five value. That's why we should open them divided by two point zero. Or else you'll get five, which is not five. And which object it should be? This. Okay. If I run this code, we should be able to write it. Right. I'm happy with it. I'll just decrease. Base to 9. Base to 9. Okay. I can use that a new variable called HSPC building height and all this stuff. But right now, we'll work on it. So, we should say that. So, I run this code. Okay. Now, the next step is okay, one more. You may be asking that, Ram, you have written this. This is string. Yeah, if it's a string variable, if it's a variable name, you can just give it like HSPC building. Let's take the we'll focus in course. Put on this, let's see first. It says, Can you see it? No object matches name. This object, it's looking for object name. When it's in codes, it's looking for the object name. But whereas this is not an object name, object name is HSPC. This is a variable which is where we store that object. So if you run this command now, it works. Got it? Now the next step is we need to select the space okay, and apply extra something. If you see here, it's called poly extrude face set. We'll come go to that. 
स्टेप रखना चाहे पॉली एक्सट्रा फेस इट हैज कॉल्ड सिनाप्सिस और कमांड इस पॉली एक्सट्रा फेस है लोड फॉर सिनाप्सिस आ रहा आई वांट फॉलो इट एंड जस्ट स्क्रॉल डाउन हियर से दिस इज़ द कमांड पॉली एक्सट्रा फेस है what I'll do, just copy this command okay, see come back here paste it like this now, I'll change this cmds as mc and now here, if you check here what is this plg and also, we don't have anything called plg we got one thing on hsbc building so how to write this one is important I'll put this HSPC building. You know, I should not put it in quotes because this is not a name of the object. Okay. If you want to put, you can put HSPC name, but I'll go for always go for very name HSPC plus. I always use double quotes. Sorry. Now it's selecting face. Can you see now? But which face it should select? So go down here. Run this command. This face is face one. Every face has got some address. Let's say if I select this face, this is zero. Four. So I want one to be selected. So I'll just change this to one. Run this code. Hmm. It says no str to the list. Can only concatenate str. Something going wrong. So we need to sort it out. The thing is that any object when you create any polygon object, anything is, it has got two nodes can you see the result it has got poly q1 poly q pq1 and poly. one is transform node the one other one is shape node if you come here this is a transform node and this is a shape node so it's getting confused you're, you're telling hsbc but what should i do which one so it's come here because it's an array, put bracket, if box brackets, and put the same, and run it. Boom! <laughs> it's sorted. Now the last step, we need to sort of something else. See, if you see here, extrude, it's two. I'll change it to 0.5. Run the command like it the next one is at 0.5 i want to scale very it should i should get a sharp tip so we'll change it to tell me let's go. so we think that it should scale to 0.9 percent we'll do it 0.9 and hope we should get the result oh it's wrong <laughs> i knew it so it's reverse. I'm just trying to get you aware of all those things. So control A, run this command. Now we got this block. It's perfect. Now we got a HSPC building. Okay. Now let's once again run this command. What did we do? We just copied this command. It's important thing. If you don't put this one, it will get confused. And you know that's a face one. Okay, you don't need this all the things. You can do if you want, you can remove this one. Okay. Now we got this come and run it. But when you run it, still it's selected. You should just 
it should be something like this okay so you can see when I'm clicking outside see selection CL so we need to put a small command of MC dot select and it should clear and let's go back here Let's go for clear, 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 and clear is a boolean operation. Boolean means true or false. So I say clear. I want it to true. It should clear. Select it. Run the command. We got our HSBC building. Okay. In this tutorial. We did started working on creating extrusions on faces, understanding the string, understanding the transform nodes as well as the shape nodes, and then a bit of extrusion. And we learned one more tool called Clear MC, MC Select Clear. Hope you enjoyed this lesson. In the next lesson. Also in the next tutorial, we'll try to create a window with some title and all the stuff and try to link this code as a button. So if you click here, it should create a button as well as this one. Okay. We'll create try to create a window and create a button and all this stuff. So that's it. I'll see you soon in the next tutorial. Bye.